Is there anything about the adult industry that surprised you when you got into it? Um, hmm. You know, I feel like mainly the fact that I didn't know as many people watch porn. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Like, when they can actually recognize you. Everybody watches porn. They just don't admit it. Dude. <laughs> I was like, damn. You be out in a different, not even in your in the national way. Like you be out in a different country. You'd be like, okay, now you guys really be watching this. It's do you a get lot of people. Do you I get do. recognized a I lot? Do. I do. And how how is that for you? Are you okay with that? I'm cool with it now. Cause it's it's making me know that, like, especially when I go out of LA mm-hmm. or out of my comfort zone mm-hmm. and I go out of town or, or out of country, it'd be like, okay, you doing something, girl. <laughs> You know what I mean? It'd be yeah. something if I'm doing this stuff and ain't nobody recognize me. I'd be like, damn, I got to bust it open more. Mm-hmm. Maybe I need to squirt on somebody's nose or like suck their nose or something. And like, like, I ain't nobody care. So like, I, I appreciate it. Yeah. But I did not know. That's what surprised me. It's like, y'all be watching porn? Ooh. <laughs> it's a lot of people too. Yeah. <laughs> have um how are your fans generally when they approach you? Have you had any bad experiences no. or is everybody pretty good? Well, let's take that back. I had a weird experience where this guy just wouldn't go away. Mm. And I was I already had addressed him and like, oh hey, you know, saw me. I was at a private hair appointment and they had to like tell him to leave because he was doing weird shit. Like he wouldn't leave. Really? Yeah, he was. He wanted his picture, but I wasn't into a picture right then. I, I already said hello. Yeah, it was one of them things. I was with my assistant. We was getting my hair done. I was like, "Bye, I got you. Hi, bye. Mm-hmm. Now go." He wouldn't go, so they had to escort him out. He left. That so was he was it. just hanging out in the hair hanging salon. out. He came up there talking about he wanted to buy some weed for his wife. Like your wife, like because they sold they sold hair too mm-hmm. at the hair um, hair salon, but it was a private appointment. They wasn't even open. He just seen me. Mm-hmm. And he was like, he came up there. He was like, um, how, how they were, he was talking weird. Like he wanted to buy something. Mm-hmm. And yeah. keep looking for Ebony. Yeah. Like he was like, get out of here. And I was telling, I told my hairdresser, like, that guy I just seen outside, like, he's here for me. Like, please. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah. So whoever you are, you scare me. So what is the best way for a fan to approach you if they see you in public? Like, just be normal. Mm-hmm. X for things. If you want a picture, ask for one. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Don't be weird with me. Mm-hmm. Don't touch me. Mm-hmm. Don't grab it. Like, I wouldn't do that if I wasn't famous mm-hmm. or I wasn't in this place or or I wasn't a porn person. Or, And I've done, before Adele, I was also not just nursing a celebrity stylist. Like, so I worked with A-listers. Mm-hmm. They don't like it. You yeah. gotta, uh, like, you have to set boundaries with people like, would you do that on a normal occasion? Just walk up to somebody and grab on them? Yeah. Like, you would scare them. Yeah. So I just don't want people to be aggressive with me. I'm a person. Even though you see me having sex and this and that, and that's maybe how you know me. Thank you. I love the industry for that. I'm nothing bitter or bad about it. That's what I'm doing. But don't treat me like that in person. Yeah, do you think that people feel like they oh, have a license to touch you because they see yes. you as a sex object? And I also think that maybe a lot of, not a lot, excuse me, let me take that back, pause. Some of our coworkers in the industry, especially at these expos and stuff, these conventions, give that. I was going to ask you that because I, I've come across that before where people have argued about that because... Some performers are, yeah, absolutely fine with you grabbing them. They'll put their hands on you, but not everybody's like that. So these guys think, oh, this person's okay with this. Mm -hmm. I can treat everyone like Mm -hmm. that. So, again, everybody's different. Mm -hmm. Consent with anything you do is important when we're doing with dealing with adults. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe you get get somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you would ever date a fan? Mm Mm-hmm. I would. I don't know about dating industry people. Hmm. Why is that? And I'm talking mainstream, whether you do music or this or that, unless we can come with a common ground, because I just want somebody that's not like me. I just do. Like I, my, I like like a tech guy. Or, God, I'm so with you on that. Like a my nerd. my husband works in law. You know, like I people have always asked me, like, have you dated someone in the industry, or have you ever like 
fucked a porn star. And I'm like, for me, Love Cameron. nothing against like, but my, and nothing my, against, please make yeah, that. Yeah. Cause we're not better on a top. Nothing. No, no, no. It's just how our preference will we like. I'm very much like, I like to be with somebody who's the kind of person who prefers to be like behind the scenes. In, you know, like, I want to be the star of the relationship. Hello? I'm always attracted so we, we, to the quieter guys. That's us. Like the more who, into- like, knows what to do with yeah. my stuff, but don't want, care about none of that. Just, it's all you, baby. Yeah. Yes, that's, yes. So that's what I would like. That's my, somebody who's totally, maybe even, like, of course they would see my porn, but not, like, because I've had relationships where my man would be watching my porn and I'm sitting right there. Mm. That's weird to me. You're like, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> you get sure a real this, thing. Yeah, like, what the <laughs> hell? Like, I get it, but... Yeah. Cut it off sometimes. 